Hey yo, what is up? What is up, everybody? What is up? We are going to be talking about the big fight that is gonna be happening this weekend, the main event between Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Arlo. It's going to be a big fight. I mean, it's going to be a big fight because it's two undisputed champions going at it man Jamal Charlo did his thing at 154 beating everybody at 154 got all the belts at 154 so he you know deserves a big fight man and what a what another than Canelo Alvarez man that's what you need to do to get fights with Canelo you gotta be like do work put in work you know Built that resume up, built the, those accolades up, and then Canelo will, you know, offer you a fight because now you're worth, you know, to fight against Canelo because once you built your resume and club and accomplishments, you are worth fighting now because, you know, Canelo beats Jamal Jarlo. A lot of people think he's not gonna beat him, or a lot of people think that Canelo. Is gonna be too much for uh, Jamal Charlo, and then we got other people who think that Jamal Charlo will be enough to be Canelo Alvarez. So is, there's a lot of people. This is actually a little bit divided than I thought, man. People are saying that he's moving up to weight classes. That will be his doom. Well, it could be his doom because if he moves up to weight class, I don't think he'll be as fast as he is when he moves around. He might. Um, yeah, and we don't know how he takes the power, the punches. You know what I'm saying? There's something where Jamal Charlo could get careless and sloppy and wild in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, the problem with Jamal Charlo is that he's been moving a lot. You know what I'm saying? If he moves a lot too much, it's going to look like he's really, you know, running away from Canelo Alvarez. And it's going to give the judges more advantage to Canelo if he moves a lot. You know what I'm saying? If if Jamal Charlo does not move that much in the ring, he might get you know like stopped, man. Because Canelo is just he knows how to break down opponents. He knows how to break down the opponent's body and then to the head and then to the body and and to the head. I need to see Canelo's elite head movement in this fight, man. We need to see that head movement. We need to see that from Canelo, bro, because a lot of people are doubting Canelo. They're saying that, you know, he's on the decline. A lot of people are saying that he cannot, you know, he, he doesn't have any head movement anymore. Like, he only walks forward with a high guard. I want to see Canelo, you know, who use his head. I want to see some Daniel Jacob shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to see that from Canelo Alvarez here. I want to see a dominant performance from Canelo Alvarez. Because, you know, he's fighting somebody who's coming up to weight, to weight classes. Yes, Jermel Charlo might be taller and have more reach. But Canelo Alvarez has that body of a 168 pounder. You know what I'm saying? That's the key difference. He's well... He's, no, he's used to that weight class. And he has an elite fucking chin, bro. His chin is made out of steel. That shit cannot be broken, bro. The only way Charlo could beat Canelo is on points, but I just don't think Jamal Charlo will have enough for all 12 rounds to beat him. He needs to beat him decisively to he like on points. He needs to like shut him out like Bevo did. But I just don't think Jamal Charlo has the tools that Bevo has. You know what I'm saying? They're a lot different. When Bevo was going after Canelo, he was moving and punching. Carlos gonna be start, you know, standing still, throw, and then move, stand, throw, and move. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's gonna try to do. Cause he knows he doesn't have that power to KO Canelo, bro. He, does, he knows that. And Canelo, you know, he's really good in cutting off the ring. Um, he's good on knowing when people hug him to try to clinch. 
he's really good in the clinch game. As you saw with Caleb Plant, just Caleb Plant kept trying to clinch on Canelo to stop his attacks, but Canelo kept, you know, kept getting Caleb Plant off of him and then throwing him with shots. But you will see, man. I do really think Canelo has this in the bag. I'm going Canelo by stoppage, bro. By stoppage in the later rounds. I'm predicting like round 10, 11 is when I predict he will stop Jermel Charlo. But yeah, man, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know, guys, what you think about this big fight between two undisputed champions, Canelo Alvarez versus Jermel Charlo. Big fight. Big fight, man. I'm excited. And let the best man win, but Canelo has just the advantage because he's been in that weight for way longer than, uh, like I said, Jamal Charlo's about to move their two weight division. So, yeah, man, wish Jamal Charlo luck because he's gonna need all the luck in the world. All right, I'm out of here.